Hello, I'm Power Monkey, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to be teaching you about arithmetic operators. Okay, so the first arithmetic operator that we're going to be looking at today is the addition operator, which is just a plus sign. So basically, all I do, so this is an example, so 8 plus 8. And then if we print add, that will print 16 in the output. So that's pretty basic. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is subtraction, which is just the minus sign. So local sub equals 700 minus 100. And if we print sub, that will print 600 in the output. So again, that one was pretty simple one as well. So next we're going to do division, which is just a slash sign. So if we do local div equals 66 divided by 11, then we do print div, whoops, that will print 6 in the output. And the next one is multiplication, which is just the little star sign, which you do by holding shift eight. So if you do local mole equals 100 multiplied by 22, and if we print mole, then that should print 200 2200 in the output and the next one is just exponentiation which is basically just indices and that is just this little circumflex symbol which is kind of like a little hat so if we do local exp equals 4 which is basically to the power of sine 2 so what this is doing, let me just write it like that. So basically what this is doing is that it's just doing 4 multiplied by 4. So if we print x, that will print 16 in the output. So I'll do another example of this one just in case. So we'll do 20 to the power of 3. So what this is doing is just 20 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 20. So if we print exp, that should be 8,000 in the output. And I'll do just one last example, just in case you're still not quite sure. So I'll do two to the power of six. So what this is doing essentially is just two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's right. So if we print exp, that should print 64 in the output. So the next arithmetic operator and the last one that we're going to be looking at is this one, which is just the modulus sign, which is essentially just remainders. So it's this little symbol right here. Let me just make that a comment with two hyphens. So let's just do local mod equals seven. And then the mod modulus sign, which is just the percentage sign by six. This will print mod. So that should be one because if you do seven divided by six, the remainder is one. And then we do local, so let's just do another example, mod equals 18 modulus 5. So if we print mod, then that would print 3, because 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, but if you do plus 5 again, that's going to be 20. So 18 minus 15 is 3, so that's the remainder. So if we do mod equals... One last example, 110 modulus 40. If we print mod, then that would print 30. 
in the output because if you do 40 plus 40 that's 80 if you do plus 40 again that's 120 so the remainder is 30. So yeah that was a pretty quick tutorial on the arithmetic operators and in the next video I'll be talking about relational operators. Thanks for watching, bye!